everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five favorite highlighters I just thought it would be really fun to share with all of you my top five favorite highlighters and if you use any of these highlighters that I show go ahead and comment down below and tell me which one you use and which one is your favorite and yeah so before we get into the video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you will never miss a video for me but you gotta hit the little bell notification because YouTube's a little weird so without further ado let's get into the video so I am going to jump start this video by showing you my holy grail of highlighters and it's the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics Santorini Loose Powder Highlighter, and it's the bomb.com and all the rest of that little song, phrase, whatever it is. But it's gorgeous and a little bit goes a long way. If you're outside riding a bike in the middle of the street at midnight, you don't need reflectors. The headlights will beam off your cheeks and your nose and wherever else, and they will know you're there. Here it is, swatched on the back of my hand. It is absolutely blinding. Whoa! I about broke my camera lens. Ha ha ha. Not funny. But anyways, it's a great highlighter. Perfect for summer and all that jazz. And I love it. And if you don't own it, it's only like $14. It's almost like the cheapest thing you can even get off of Kylie Cosmetics. So go buy it. You will thank me later. Go ahead and thank me in the comments. Thank me, thank me, thank me. My next favorite highlighter I have shown before in a few videos, but it's the Estate Makeup Do Me mm, Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Pink, because I think they're all like called the same. I don't really know. They have like yellow, green, blue, all the colors. But this one's so cute, so great. Got it in my Ipsy bag and I'm so thankful because this is such a great highlighter and if it wasn't for Ipsy, I would have never known this brand. And I love this highlighter. It's like so good. Again, it's another super blinding highlighter. See, it's even changing my camera. Hold on. There we go. It's another super blinding highlighter, but it's got a pink tone to it. So, favorite color, looking good on my cheekbones and my nose and everywhere else that I highlight. Shabam. My next favorite highlighter has been around for a long time. I don't even know if you can still purchase it, um, but it's the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics um what is it collab that they did and i got it in a split pan like two three years ago something like that forever ago and i still use it to this day and it's a really good summer shade for me because it's you know gold and shimmery and all that so you know <laughs> you get the idea but it's still creamy and it still performs just as good as the day that i got it and the expiration date the little um thing on the back says 24 months you can't see that but it, the cap's 24 months for like you know quality performance and all that stuff but it literally still performs the same so it's still a favorite product and another shabam super gold super pigmented super in your face blinding goodness and you know it's also Jaclyn Hill and who doesn't love Jaclyn Hill I mean she's even canceling the vault collection right now to perfect it losing millions of dollars mm. you gotta give her a couple couple of kudos for that because no one else would want to lose millions of dollars to perfect a few shades mm -mm. My next favorite highlighter was also an Ipsy Fine that I got a while back, and it's the Luna by Luna Highlighter in the shade Calypso. It's a baked highlighter, and it's purple. Well, you know what I mean, but it is so gorgeous, and unfortunately, 
unfortunately I dropped it not that long ago so it's cracked but we can still use it oh I flung some of it out one moment while I piece my life back together <laughs> okay we're good I'm just gonna swatch it before I break it again Now this is a very pretty highlighter and yes, blinding and purple all at the same time. Now this is a great fall shade. I wore this every day for fall last year because it's just perfect for fall. What can I say? And my last favorite highlighter I've been wearing the most here recently because it's just the easiest to grab over here on my little turntable. And it's, again, Kylie Cosmetics, but it's the pressed illuminating powder in cotton candy cream. And I love it. It's like a very subtle highlight. I'm wearing it today. It's not like bam in your face, but you still know it's there. Can you even see it? I can't tell. It's on my nose. But I'm a little oily. It's been a long time since I've done my makeup today. We actually went to the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So, yeah. Gonna have a head and swatch it. Plus, it's, you know, the little drippage that she's got going on. Super subtle, but still noticeable and gorgeous. And it's kind of like, you know, got a gold tint to it. And yes, it's not super blinding, like I said, but it's like something that you want to wear when you're wearing like workout clothes or going to the gym. Kind of like a natural glow without, you know, blinding people. And just for a couple of heck why nots, I'm going to show you a bonus favorite. Um, I, I, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't because it's, it's chunky glitter, but it's Kylie Jenner. Um, it was her birthday collection in the shade Queen. And it's really good whenever you just want to have a chunky glitter highlight, which who wants that? But it's actually not that bad. Um, it just gives your body a nice sparkle. And I like to put this like on my neck whenever I go outside and wear a dress. Um, because I, I don't know if you can tell how like loose the glitter is. So it's good for like putting a little bit like here and whatnot to just accentuate the boobage, you know? But I like this highlighter as like a summer glow poof. I don't know. But I do like this one a lot too. So yeah. And that's all my favorite highlighters. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big like and go ahead and subscribe so we can become YouTube friends and support each other's channels. And it mean the world to me. So yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for a video for me to do, leave them in the comment section and I will do them. So yeah. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.